Hello and welcome to another viewer edit. Today I've got this beautiful photo from Raphael. I'm gonna take it into Lightroom and I'm gonna turn it from something like this into a picture like this while explaining to you every single step I do from start to finish. Alright, so we're here in Lightroom and this is the unedited JPEG image. Whether it be a RAW file or a JPEG file, you generally kind of get the same overall look. Of course, with a RAW file you will get a lot more detail and a lot more overall quality in the picture. But, you know, for the overall look, it doesn't really matter that much. So let's get started here. Bringing up the shadows, bring down the highlights, a lot of detail here. But I definitely want to bring up the whites just so we get a lot of dynamic and I'm also gonna bring down actually before I play around with the blacks let me just add some contrast right here and I definitely think I want to add quite a bit the overall picture might be just a little bit too dark so let's try and brighten that up just by something like that and then bring down the blacks maybe just a little bit now in terms of clarity Clarity is going to be very difficult. Hmm. I don't really want to add overall clarity because I really don't like the effect here and the top. I kind of do like it towards the right and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is actually just reset the clarity and leave it at zero and just straight away grab an adjustment brush and just add a little bit of clarity here and just brush over the right, brush over the bottom parts, maybe even here and somewhere over there as well. So now we just have some clarity in this area. Yeah. So let's see before the clarity adjustment and after. Just some very local clarity works pretty well. So another thing, color temperature. I feel like the picture might be just a touch too um, blue, a little bit too cold. So let's try and warm that up just a hint and the color t tint. I'm not quite sure if I want to change anything there. I actually kind of like this look how it is. So the last thing of course is vibrance and I definitely want to add some vibrance here in this photo. It's a raw file, definitely could be very good. And yeah, I think it works just around plus 20. And then the tonal curve, now highlight slider. Usually I like to bring up the highlights, however, because this is not really, you know, a landscape with a sky in it or anything like that, I think, you know, if I bring up the highlight slider here, it really just affects the waterfall and this rock, so I don't think it's any harm done if I bring down the highlights here and in return just bring up the lights to give the whole picture a little bit more overall dynamic. So I think that actually works pretty well. Then let's play around with the rest of these sliders, maybe even go a little bit into the plus darks. And yeah, I think I'm not going to change anything else. Lastly, point curve. I don't... Well, maybe I'm actually going to stick with medium. I really like the look in these rocks under the water in the right. So I think that works pretty well. And HSL tool. HSL tool is something I don't really play around with that much, but I just want to kind of see if I want to change these orange and yellow hues. And I think I might bring them just a little bit to the right. It just works a little bit better for my taste. And I think I don't really have to change anything else in the HSL tool. Split toning. Now split toning is going to be very interesting. I'm really not sure if I want to add anything. Blues. I don't really like that look very much. And I think the overall picture is already pretty bright. And you know, since we don't have any sky, I don't really think it works all that well. So let's go uh, down here and skip the detail tool because this is just for you know the overall look, not for every single detail. And go down to the lens corrections and just remove chromatic aberration because I see some quite heavy chromatic aberration. Um, but you know, once again, that's not really something that has that big of an impact in your overall picture. I am definitely going to add some vignetting though and even bring the midpoint more towards the center and I just think that these rocks especially on the edge are a little bit too bright I wonder if you use the polarizing filter here it almost kind of looks like it since we are able to see in the water that well but I'm not quite sure so let's bring in some vignetting 
just something like that and I think it works pretty pretty well so here's before vignetting and here is after so then let's go to the local adjustments and first thing I'm gonna do here is just grab an adjustment brush and add a little bit of uh, minus color temperature just for the water right here because I think you know the overall uh, look of the picture I like it to be a little bit warm it really helps for the green tones but just for the water a little bit more of a bluish tone works pretty well so let's bring that down and maybe even add just a tiny bit of magenta in the tint just for the water so here is before that one adjustment brush and here is after then let me think I am definitely going to add a lot of the rail filters with dodge and burning but let me think is there anything I want to do before that I might just try to grab a graduated filter and bring it over the left and bring up the exposure. Hmm, I actually think it works. It helps to complexify the whole lighting scheme, but I'm gonna do something that maybe seems a little bit unintuitive, but I am going to grab another graduated filter just for the very top this time, and this time go minus. And that way we have a lot of dynamic, a lot of plus lighting, additional uh, exposure in the top left of the image, but the, you know, the very um, edges aren't too bright. So I think that actually works really well. Let me quickly show you before these two adjustments. And here is after, just a little bit more, you know, overall dynamic. Um, the right side seems pretty dark already, so I don't really think we need to add, you know, another graduated filter with minus exposure over here. But I am going to grab an adjustment brush and add even more vignetting just for the bottom part right here and maybe some more parts of this rock for the very top and just add some more vignetting even up here. And I think that works pretty well. Yeah, that is definitely a very, very nice look. Um, another thing that I kind of noticed is that the waterfall is just a little bit too bright still. So I'm gonna grab a separate adjustment brush just for the waterfall and then go into the minus highlights and maybe even go into the minus exposure just want to make sure that I don't select too much here. Um, I might just add actually another adjustment brush with minus clarity just for these rocks because I really don't like this very sharp and very um, harsh texture from these rocks and it's just a little bit of a difference but I think overall it works a little bit better for my taste. So then let's go into dodge and burning with the radial filters of course and first thing I think I'm just gonna add a few plus exposure filters here but very very big ones. So let's go into the plus exposure and maybe even add a little bit of warmth in the color just so the lighting looks a little bit more organic, a little bit more natural. So let me see here. I think I'm just gonna drag one over here. Uh, so it just looks like the waterfall and uh, the water over here is a little bit brighter. It definitely looks a lot more bright there and I think it works pretty well. Maybe I went a little bit too far with the orange. Yeah, that seems even better. Then try click duplicate and I think I'm gonna add another very very big one. Maybe not quite as big though, over this vegetation over here. Right click duplicate and let's see if there's any other spots that could use a little bit more plus exposure. Maybe actually here, just a little bit going um, not quite as far into the plus exposure. Right click duplicate and maybe just make a little bit of a small one for this um, area right here. And yeah, that works pretty well. So another place, maybe, well, I don't really want to interrupt the lighting scheme. So I don't think I'm going to add too many more. Maybe just a very, very small one over here. And of course, not go quite as far. Let's see here. Yeah, that works a little bit better. And maybe a last one just for the foreground right there. Um, mixed with a little bit more plus exposure and a little bit more color as well 
and I think that works pretty well. So let's just quickly see, I'm not done yet, but let's see before any adjustment brushes and before any dodge and burning. And here is after. Just everything looks a little bit more inviting. I might have uh, just added this one, this filter right here. Might have been just a little bit too big, so this is before, this is after. But I am going to definitely add quite a few minus exposure rail filters as well, because as it is right now, I think the whole scene is a little bit too evenly exposed. So I'm going to go here into the minus exposure and maybe even mix it with contrast and just kind of, you know, put it in between wherever it looks natural. Right click duplicate maybe here, not quite as far, right click duplicate as well and go a little bit minus in there, you know, just make the dark parts, the shadows a little bit darker so we have a very uh, unique sort of contrast and I think it works just perfectly for this photo it really brings a lot of dynamic in this picture. So let me see, maybe another one over here, just kind of a smaller one. Right click duplicate, another one over there, and maybe even in the background right here. And let's see, another place. Let's just kind of drag it around and see if it works. Maybe in between those two um, waterfalls, the little one and the bigger one. Um, maybe another one over here, you know, I'm really... Dodge and burning can get a little bit addictive and you really can spend a lot of time doing it. But I don't really want to go too far with it in this picture. Just want to kind of keep everything nice and compact. But yeah, overall, I think I am pretty much done with the picture. Let me just look at it for a while and see if I want to change anything. Hmm, maybe just a little bit more minus exposure on the very bottom right here. And maybe a little bit of minus exposure in between these two rocks right there. So I think, well, actually let me add even another one over here and then I really think I am done with dodge and burning. So let's see here, before any dodge and burning and after, definitely a lot more contrast. Uh, really works wonders for this photo. I think it's so much more dynamic and it looks a lot better. And with dodge and burning, I think I'm pretty much done with the overall picture. I thought about lowering the vibrance, but overall I think I really like this very vibrant look and it works. So let's just say I am done here and let's go down to the picture without any editing and you see very flat, very a lack of color, kind of dark in some places and here we have a very dynamic picture. I might just grab an adjustment brush and go a little bit into the minus highlights and just draw over here. Yeah, so I think I am done here. To the left is before and to the right is after. And I have to say I really love this image. There's so many different colors, especially in the green and in the orange tones, also in the blue tones. Just beautiful picture and I think this editing works really well for it. Of course, you don't necessarily have to go as far as I have gone. Uh, that's just something I say all the time because my personal style of editing is very heavy and very kind of in your face. Thank you very much Raphael for submitting your picture. It was definitely a ton of fun editing it and I hope there was something you could take away from this photo or at least just see some other perspective on the edit. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the edit in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed already then definitely be sure to subscribe and if you like the video please be sure to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't like the video. Once again thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a great day and of course take care.